Just the other day, saw you looking my way. Uh, Stop to contemplate moments that went to waste. Uh, why you do that? You drop me like who that? And put me through that. My baby is useless. I'm living my life. Don't need you in mind. Me feeling just fine. <laughs> What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing well. We're gonna do a little wash and chat today. Um, I have a photo shoot tonight with this car, the M2. We're doing some night photography, which I've never done, so I'm super stoked about. But the car's dirty, so we need a proper wash. And I figured, you know what? Why not just bring you guys along and give you like the full rundown of a wash I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be using some new products from Ethos, so I'm super excited for that. And I'll show you guys what I use and kind of show you the difference. Tell you what my thoughts are on the outcome of the actual products that we use. We're gonna head over to the local wash spot. I don't have a hose system here or a pressure wash or anything so I always head over to the self wash first and then wash the car up over there bring it home and then apply all the products and everything for it but the basics are just washing the car getting it clean get the wheels clean and then obviously use the car dryer to dry it off I haven't changed anything about the verbal settings yet or have I turned off the cold start just kind of rolling with it for right now. And um, yeah, we'll see what I switch up. I'm definitely gonna be changing something with the burbles. I'm either gonna go in and customize them or I'm just gonna turn them back to like OEM. Um, they are a little much when you're driving around, so. I also got some Beamer Code stuff on the radar that I'm gonna be doing for you guys. So we got a lot of videos coming up. We got exhaust video, the full Valvetronic videos coming up. Yeah, content, content. <laughs> yeah, she screams. Oh, what's it gonna be today, folks? Nitro cold brew? That splash of sweet cream? I'm thinking so. So yeah, we got a lot of dopeness coming for this car. I got new side skirt extensions that are coming tomorrow. Gonna do the install on those. And then I have the new diffuser with the rain light coming. Um, and then I also found a front splitter for my front lip. So it's just like a really small, thin piece of carbon fiber that goes with the contours of my front lip. Um, just gives it like a little bit lower profile and a little bit more aggression on front. It looks really good. It's super subtle and it's adjustable, so you can put it out like super far or bring it in. I'm excited to uh, excited to put that on. I think the people who make it are RKP. RKP are the people who make the splitter. Um, I'm also talking with Brian over at Keys Motorsports and we're looking at doing a pure stage two turbo setup for this car. Uh, the only thing when you go pure is you have to, you really have to pay attention to your fuel management and how you're running your fuel setup. The actual fueling setup is a lot of times more important than the turbo itself. So there's a lot of work to be done when you upgrade the turbo. You also have to pay attention to like the fueling setup. Thank you, take care. So at the wash bay, uh, I'm just gonna quickly explain to you guys what's gonna happen. I'm literally just going to spray off the car high pressure water. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get the soap out, wash down the entire car, spray it off high pressure water. Same deal with the wheels and then go ahead and take out the air dryer and just dry off the entire car. And then we'll go head home and use some of the products.
completely dry. So the hot spots for water are in the jams. That's why I always open up the door and get in there with the dryer. So this dryer will last you more than one wash for one car. So you recharge it, just take it home, put it on the charger, and it lasts you an entire wash. And it works really well. I mean, the reason that people get scratches is because they dry their cars off with towels that leave abrasions in the clear coat. So that's why I never touch the car. I just use this air dryer and it stays super clean. No swirls, no scratches. Obviously the ceramic coating, this entire car is ceramic coated. So that helps a lot too, if you guys are trying to eliminate having to use towels, ceramic coating helps big time. So wheels are good to go. Entire car is good to go. Door jam is good to go. Now we'll head home and guys so we are back in the garage with the car and for this particular video like wash detail thing that I'm doing this is a little more in depth because I am trying to get the car really really clean just for the week and for this photo shoot tonight typically I would be done at this point I would just wash the car like I just did dry it bring it home just drive it continue to do that once or twice a week depending on like car shows and all that stuff so I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the products that we're gonna be using today. Obviously everything that you see in the video will be linked down below, but we will be getting into the interior and we're gonna be using this interior detailer. I really don't go heavy on interior detailer spray. If you guys are looking for a wax, this is the ceramic wax I've been using, it works really well. You guys saw that I was using the ceramic shampoo. This stuff is also really nice, car shampoo. I've used this for a long time. If you're just looking for a quick cleanup, detail spray but what we're going to be focusing on today is using this ceramic refresh so the car is already ceramic coated but it doesn't hurt to put on a little bit of ceramic refresh and the way that it works is it's basically just like any other ceramic coating as far as like the application you just spray it onto a towel wipe it onto the car let it sit for a couple minutes and then level it out with a clean microfiber towel that's usually how you go about doing it i do want to preface this video guys saying that I'm not a professional detailer. I just like to keep my cars clean. And these are the methods that I've used. And if you guys find them useful, great. But at the same time, disclaimer, I am no professional when it comes to this stuff. I've just used these methods in the past and they've worked well for me. So as the car sits right now, it's very clean. I mean, the car, this car stays clean. And when it comes to cleaning your cars, guys, the more that you put effort into maintaining it and trying to keep it clean, it'll stay clean 
longer. So I put minimal effort into washing and drying this car because it's just, I keep it so clean that I wash it frequently. So walking around the car, I do wanna show you guys a couple of areas when you're drying the car that are kind of like the spots where water likes to sit. Uh, all up in here, these door jams are very common. You get a lot of water in there and that's why I dry these off. And then I'll take a towel with some isopropyl alcohol and just go through this entire area. We are gonna go ahead and vacuum the interior out because there's a lot of dust and pollen in here. I'm gonna use two methods for this. I'm gonna turn the shop vac in reverse. So it's pushing out air, try and get some of that pollen loose, open up all the doors, and then we'll turn the shop vac into an actual vacuum and get all the stuff out on the floor mats and interior and all that good stuff. So yeah, the door jams are an area you definitely wanna pay attention to. If you guys have side skirt extensions, very common area for water to pool up especially with these ones because they have this winglet, so water likes to sit behind here, especially like dirt and stuff. My new side skirt extensions that come tomorrow are just flat, they don't have the winglet portion, so it's also kind of why I'm going to those. Kind of a pain in the butt with these winglets, like water and dirt just loves to get trapped inside there, and it's, it's very hard to get back here and clean, so. As far as wheels, the wheels are relatively clean. These wheels do have a little bit of curb rash on them just from the previous owner. But for the most part, these wheels stay pretty clean. I did ceramic coat them as well as the brakes. So not a lot of effort that I need to put into those. I might just take a towel with some isopropyl, go in there and just kind of clean it up as best as possible. But yeah, so for the most part, this car is pretty clean as it sits. We're just gonna go ahead and use some of that ceramic refresh touch the car up and see if we can actually feel a difference. It does feel very, very smooth as is, but I think we can, I think we can get it even nicer. If you guys do end up going to one of those self washes, do not use the brush that they have there. That brush is just gross. It's got rocks in it. It's got all kind of contaminants in it. People just use that everywhere on their car. Never use that brush. It's just a bad idea. Do yourself a favor and grab a detailing bag like this. This one is weighted so it doesn't move around, doesn't flip over when you're driving. I keep all my stuff that I need like while I'm on the road or at car shows in here. And then also obviously a bucket that has your shampoo and like a proper mitt in it with just a couple of towels in case you need them. But yeah, do not use that brush that they have at the washes. They are, uh, they're, <laughs> they're, they're bad news. They will definitely scratch up your paint, scratch up your wheels. You do not want to use those. And like I said before, you guys, this car dryer, it's a game changer. I'm telling you right now, this battery just pops right off. I just throw it on the charger and it lasts longer than one car wash. So you have plenty of time to dry the car off with one recharge. It's already boiling up in here. It's always like 10 degrees hotter in this garage than it is outside. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, ceramic refresh. We're gonna be using the ceramic refresh. Like I said before, you apply it to a microfiber towel. Make sure it's a very clean towel. Go ahead, lay it on the car, work in small sections. I'll probably do like half the hood, other half the hood, and then I'll try and hit the whole bumper at once. But we're gonna go ahead and lay this down, let it sit for a couple of minutes, and then you're just gonna take another clean microfiber towel and try and level that ceramic out. Go ahead and just wipe it gently a few times, level it out, and then you should be good. I wouldn't get the car wet for the next few hours. You don't want any uh, water to get inside of that ceramic while it's curing. You do wanna make sure that the car is clean, very, very clean before you put this stuff on. If you need to clean it off quickly, maybe use some isopropyl. Obviously, we just washed the car, so we really don't need to worry about that, but this will remove any of the contaminants on the surface of the paint. So, we're already cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and lay some of this down and kind of show you what that process looks like. I'm going to use this clean microfiber towel for applying. Literally just gonna spray it onto here and then wipe it down on the car. And then we'll use another clean one after a couple of minutes to wipe it up. <laughs> So I got it covered on the entire front end. The hood has been sitting for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off on the hood. And then I have a whole bumper as well that I'll wipe off. Ooh, it's 
already super hot in here. All right, I'm gonna show you guys. Now obviously the car just like looks clean so it's hard to really show you guys the difference but it is um, incredibly smooth, like zero resistance on the hood. Feels really, really nice. Yeah, there's a little bit of resistance on the fenders but we just did the hood and it feels incredibly smooth. So you're almost treating this like a wax, like you would put it on, wait a little bit for it to dry and then wipe it off. But yeah, you just wanna take your time with it and be patient and do it correctly. I obviously have the rest of the car to go so I have a little bit of work to do, but this car is already so hydrophobic that I really don't need to worry about the ceramic coating side of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the car with the ceramic refresh, hit all the panels, hit the roof, all that stuff. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the windows with this isopropyl. I've just been using isopropyl alcohol for windows. Kinda hard to find right now, but I have a bunch of it. And the isopropyl just does such a good job of removing all the contaminants and leaving zero streaks. So that's why I like to use it. This is a really nice towel to use on windows. I like these towels by GT Shine. It's nice and heavy. It's got two sides. One is a bit more abrasive but I find that these work really, really well on, uh, on windows. All right, so we got the entire car cleaned up, got the windows all cleaned up. Super clean, I mean, geez. Yeah, isopropyl does such a good job. And then I'll use a little bit of isopropyl in a rag to go throughout the jams, get that all cleaned up. Now we'll go ahead and hit up this interior. I'm really not a fan of super shiny everything, so I use very minimal detailing products when it comes to the interior. I just hit it once, do a simple vacuum, and then I use a little brush to kind of get into the vents and everything, especially with all the pollen everywhere. So I'm gonna start with vacuuming, get a lot of this like crap out of here, get that all cleaned up, and then we'll go ahead and vacuum the center, take out that little brush, hit up the vents and everything, and then we'll spray it down with some interior detailer. So as you can see, we didn't go too crazy on the interior detailer. Literally just sprayed it. Oh, it smells really good. That is one thing about it, it has a great scent to it. But as you can see, it's just clean. I didn't go too nuts. I don't want it looking like wet. Just wanted to clean it up a little bit. And it looks really good. I use isopropyl on my rear view mirror and then my iDrive screen and my instrument cluster. Just a little bit of that on a nice soft rag, microfiber so you're not scratching anything. I will once a month, I'll take these mats out and actually hang them at the wash and spray them off. You'll be surprised about how much dirt actually collects on these things. So about once a month at the car wash, I'll actually hang these up and then spray them and get all the dirt out. Generally, I would not use tire shine. I'm just not a huge fan of tire shine in general, but for tonight, for the photo shoot, I am gonna make sure that the tires look a little bit wet so I will take a little bit of this and apply it into the actual tires. Not a lot though. I'm not a big fan of super, super wet tires. flashbacks of summer. I forgot how hot it gets in this garage. It's like 80 degrees outside. It's probably closer to like 92, 93, somewhere in there in here. It gets hot. So I got to find some kind of like cooling system for this, this garage that uh, I don't have to like renovate anything in order to install. I got, I got some things in mind to cool this place down, but all right. So the car is, um, we're good, man. I really didn't put on that much tire shine. 
Just did a quick clean on the interior. This is probably how I would prep the car for like a car show. When I actually get to the car show, I might throw on a little more tire shine. Just tires at car shows, it makes sense to have them look a little more wet and a little more clean. But um, for, the, for the daily driving stuff, I really don't put on uh, any tire shine. But it does, I do have to say, it looks really good. There you go. So it looks pretty wet right now, but if you give this an hour or so, that'll soak into the tire a little more and it won't look so wet. Same deal with the back. So that's good. The Ethos tire shine is actually really good stuff. It doesn't spray anywhere. Um, it seems to soak into the rubber really well. I usually just take a little bit and put it on the inside of the uh, mud flaps as well. Just to kind of gloss in up that plastic. But yeah, you guys, I mean, that's really it, you know? I mean, I'm not a professional detailer, but I do keep my cars relatively clean. And these are just the products that I use to do that. And this is kind of the method, like I said before, for like the average wash. I really wouldn't go into all the ceramic refresh and the wheels and the tire shine and interior. I, I literally just go in and I do a simple wash and a simple vac. And I do that once or twice per week. And then maybe once a month, I'll do like a deeper clean like this. I'm at about two and a half hours in on this. And this is really all of the effort that I'm going to put into this one here today. For me personally, I've come to realize that like no car is always perfect. Nothing has to be clean all the time. And I am kind of embracing the notion of just driving my car more and worrying less about how clean it is. I think that's really important. Like it's good to get your car to a certain level where you're happy with the cleanliness, but don't ever think that it needs to be perfect all the time. That's just an unrealistic world to live in and that's too high of a standard to try and meet all the time. So I just get it clean to where I'm happy with it and I just drive the car. Just drive the car and enjoy it. Let it get dirty. It's a car, it's going to get dirty. My car isn't perfect. It's got some scrapes and some little chips on the front bumper. Nothing is perfect. Just enjoy what you have. But this is an easy way to kind of clean it up and get it to a point where you're happy with it. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I was using. A lot of people ask me, how do I wash my car? What, what products do I use? And Ethos Car Care is a sponsor of mine. They send me out a lot of these products and I, re I really do like their stuff. I think they do a great job at creating some of these. So if you guys need anything that you saw in this video here today, it's gonna to be all linked down in the description. But as always, you guys, please stay safe, stay healthy out there. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. You drop me like who that? And put me through that? But baby, it's useless. I'm living my life. Don't need to remind me feeling just fine. One of a kind. Who better than I? Shot you don't play that game. Shot you don't play that game.